Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 14, 11, and 9. This is our eighth year in homeschooling, and we are just homeschooling our middle and our youngest this year because my eighth grader is very happy in a brick and mortar school this year. This video is about Nancy Larson science, particularly for homeschool. And I'm just going to be doing an unboxing of their level three homeschool science. We had actually started our science career in homeschooling with Nancy Larson level one and actually had a really good experience with science that year. But we actually moved and we had a lot of different shifts and changes um, in our personal life over the next couple of years. And having a big boxed curriculum just didn't seem to be the best decision at that time. So we went a few different routes. This year, now that we just have the two kids again in homeschool, you know, my uh, youngest had sort of finished her Evan Moore level really early for daily science for grade three. I thought, let me see if I can go back to Nancy Larson. The reason it appealed to me so much is because I truly think that there is value to having an open and go scripted curriculum that you know you can complete that in a busy season of life, you can simply open it, do what it says, pull out all the materials from the same box, get it done, and move on with your life. I think one of the pitfalls of doing science in homeschool is that, one, people feel uncomfortable with their own lack of understanding. Two, they don't actually buy the materials necessary to do the experiments. And then it becomes this sort of like chasing your own to-do list where you're like, oh no, I needed that one supply. Oh no, I'm going to get it next week. Oh, well now we're three weeks behind on the experiments, etc. And then I think another pitfall is just not having a plan for the year. And so sort of haphazardly doing like random things like mystery science and, yeah, and different online programs and dipping into things without having any kind of coherent base. If you want a very simple, coherent base for science, I cannot recommend Evan Moore's daily science workbooks enough. I think they are incredibly well done um, and they allow the student to practice several different skills in addition to science. Namely, they allow them to practice fact-based uh, textual reading and comprehension. So you have these short paragraphs to read from and then you have a variety of different ways of expressing understanding from labeling pictures to short answers to matching multiple choice, etc. And it takes you through a variety of different science topics at a very great appropriate level. So if you are really floundering and you have nothing else going on for science and you just feel really uncomfortable with where you're at, that's a great way to sort of shore up that foundation of science for you. It also includes experiments. Moving on from that, that's something we've done every single year. Um, another really good resource are school textbooks. And I know that, you know, there's all those feelings about schooling at home and everything, but Traditional school textbooks for science are actually really comprehensive and they provide a really nice overview at a reading level that is appropriate to the child. So again, it allows you to practice different skills. It allows the child to practice reading comprehension. It has lots of colorful pictures, uh, the idea of captions, the idea of like organizing uh, scientific information into graphs and charts and like the ability to analyze data in the way that it's presented in a scientific paper. All of that is in traditional Harcourt McGraw Hill textbooks. I have found all of ours at thrift stores. You can also buy them on thrift books. Um, they're remarkably inexpensive and they provide a really nice solid foundation to science as well. Again, the host of other science resources that we've used throughout the years can be found in our playlist for science. So definitely go ahead and check that out. You can see what we've used throughout the years. Um, if you're only interested in one particular grade level, check out that grade level playlist in on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, by the way, because I think only like something like 20% of people who watch my videos are subscribed, please take a moment right now just to hit that subscribe button down below. It would really mean a lot to me and it helps in the algorithm for people to see my videos, etc. Speaking so. of all these difficulties of teaching science, having materials, feeling uncomfortable about your own lack of knowledge about science, being consistent with a base of knowledge. I think Nancy Larson's a great option because it is a little pricey, straight up, I'm going to say that it's not the least expensive option at all. Most of the curricula, I think, range in the low 300 range for the year, but they send you every single material you need they have a scripted curricula. They have all the, the papers for the student, the workbook materials, et cetera, all printed out. So you have nothing to print. You have nothing to go buy beyond what shows up in this box. If you are in a busy season of life, having everything ready for you 
I think eliminates a great deal of the struggle for science. So having the scripted curriculum really does absolve you of a lot of that feeling uncomfortable about your own lack of scientific knowledge. Having all the materials printed, boom, one and done. You don't have to take the time to plan out what do I need for this experiment, etc. You have all of your experiment materials in the box. You have all of the student materials ready to go as well. So everything is there for you, you know, being able to assess their knowledge in real time verbally as well as on paper. So now with all, all that being said, in this video, I'm going to show you a brief overview of the website. And then I have the box here next to me. I'm just going to show you some of the uh, things that are in the Nancy Larson box. So here I'm on the Nancy Larson website for homeschoolers, and I will link this in the description box down below if you need it. Basically, you can go on here and you can see exactly what uh, different reviews are from homeschool parents, and you can also see all of their science programs. So, let me um, so you have Science K, Science 1, Science 2, all the way through 5, and that is what is available right now on Nancy Larson. You'll notice that all of these supplies are present for you. You have these thick already bound uh, workbooks and you just open the box and everything you need is right there for you. There's an introductory video here that you can watch um, to learn more about it as well. And when you go to each of the sections, you have a place where you can select what is the right level for your child. It definitely says that different levels can work for multiple age groups and that you should think about um, which level might be appropriate because level one might not be where your first grader is at that point. It might be level two or level three. They have samples available, so you can look at sample lessons here. So, so this is, for example, a lesson 56 uh, sample lesson that they offer on their website for level three. And that's the level I'm going to unbox for you today. Um, the lessons look very much like this throughout the curricula, even at level one, where you have a lesson number, the title, the section that you're in. It tells you exactly what you need for that lesson with the materials. And then you'll notice everything is scripted. So for example, you have the questions that the adult asks in uh, bold, and then you have the answers right after that. So for some of these things, you just have verbal responses, but for other exercises, you have lessons. So it'll literally tell you like hand lesson review 56 to your child, read the instructions and questions, discuss this particular question, allow them to use the, the booklet or not. And then it has a reproduction of their actual workbook page uh, that you can look at so that you have all the answers, etc. And you'll notice that the scripted lesson doesn't take too long. It's about three pages here of back and forth. So point to the West Coast of North America, what two plates meet here, what do you notice about the arrows, etc. So it takes them through that graphical representation and analysis. And I just really like how they approach it. Um, for some students, that type of scripted back and forth can be a little bit tedious. And I think that if you can use the script in a way that helps you, that works just as well. So for example, you could read the script beforehand, really get a grasp of what you're supposed to teach and what you're supposed to understand, and then put it aside as you do the lesson with your child. Whatever works is how you should use any kind of curriculum. Like let the curriculum adapt to your needs. You know, like you can use the curriculum however you wish. I think a lot of people give up on curricula too easy because they feel like if I'm doing the curricula exactly as it's scripted and it's not working for my kid, the whole curricula needs to be dumped. I would argue that if you find that the way the curricula is meant to be used isn't the best fit for you, try to use it in a way that makes it a better fit. Because I think sometimes we like tumble from one curricula to the next in the search of something perfect that doesn't exist. Um, I think this is a great base from which to start. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit more about the level three that I have here. Level three is recommended for ages eight to 11. Uh, it has 80 lessons. It's approximately 45 minutes per lesson. Three days a week is how it's designed, but obviously you can change that however you wish. When you get the complete program, you get all of the tools with it, like everything you would need. So everything that's included in this picture. But for example, let's say you have another child and you wanted to just get the toolkit or just have this the the manual you have options of what you would like to do there's also extra student units that you could buy if you had additional students you can also just make copies of those if you like so if you look here at the science 3 toolkit it includes things like centimeter cubes a graduated cylinder thermometer beaker balloon hand lens equal mass set 
wooden, glass, and steel spheres, rock set, pumice, clay, sand, silt, and hum. grass seeds, bean seeds, plastic tadpoles, so it's set, posters of the sun, the moon, comets, and the periodic table, and the books Familiar Reptiles and Amphibians and the Peterson's First Guide to Reptiles and Amphibians. So now I'm just going to show you everything that came in the Nancy Larson box for us for level three. So this is about the size of the box to give you an idea. It's a little bit heavy. <laughs> I'm not the most in shape person. Um, it comes really securely wrapped. There's nice packaging and, and filler and stuff like that in the bag. They give you a little thank you sheet that says, you know, thanks for buying things. Um, I will say I was a little bit disappointed in this when it came because it looks like a, a crumpled up sheet from her curricula, but it's actually not because if you look at it closely, it's from a uh, different level. So I think they actually reused materials that maybe they that weren't printed properly or they decided not to use for uh, the curriculum boxes and they use it for packaging. So I actually really respect that. I like the whole idea of that. Kudos to them for not wasting materials. There's a wrapped up science student materials uh, package that comes and that is a three hole punch. I actually really like that because they're actually designed as little booklets. So you can pull out one booklet at a time and just take it with you if you're schooling somewhere else like in a library or on the road that day um, and it makes it really convenient. You can also rearrange them in the student binder so if you decide to do the units out of order that also makes it really easy. Uh, they give you a cover sheet with your password etc on this pink sheet of paper and I'm not going to show you that. Here's a little science news booklet and I think this has the periodic table on it so you have all that ready to go. And it has information about different scientists that contributed to the periodic table. You have a revised lesson that you have instructions to replace into your own um, curricula. There's a sealed binder. You can see it's quite thick. And that's the teacher binder with all your scripted lessons, etc. And like I showed you before, those lessons look very similar to the sample lesson that's available on their website where you have all of your scripted words for you to say in bold and then the student answers right after them. And then at the end of the lesson, you also have reproduced pages of the student worksheets. Okay, so before I go through the contents of the box, I'm just gonna show you, they have this materials list that shows you everything that should be included in the box. And we'll just go through and check together, shall we? So first off, they have a round balloon. Now I think they probably include the round balloon right in here. So you can see here, there's a, a pink balloon in this bag. Um, while we're here at this bag, if we open it up, we can see some of the other things that are included are thermometers. So there's two of those in there a little magnifying glass. Um, there are three spheres. If you can see here, there's a clear glass one, a stainless steel one, and a wooden one. There's also a packet of grass seed. There is a set of graduated cylinders. So we have a large 1000 milliliter one. We have a 50 milliliter one. Oh, we have three 50 milliliter ones as well. And those are footed so they don't fall over. Uh, we have two bags of these one centimeter cubes, I believe. We have a tadpole to frog metamorphosis set. We have various different types of clay and soil. So there's coarse sand here. There's clay soil here. A bag of soil here, as well as silt, which is leaking just a tiny bit. There's also an equal mass set, which I imagine the whole set is in this little box here. A package of large lima beans. And last but not least, a rock collection with 15 different rocks in it. I'll open the rock set so that I can show you what type of rocks are included. It has a little investigating the rock cycle form and different cards with information about identifying them. And then inside you have really good sized rocks. And I can say that these are really good sized um, because we have a couple rock collections of our own from Educational Insights and they are much smaller rocks. So I'm actually really pleased with this. So you have like, for example, obsidian here and they all seem pre-labeled already with 
the type of rock they are. Pro tip, because I've had a few of these rock kits before, um, label them with a Sharpie as well, because sometimes the stickers come off and unless you are a rock hound yourself and you know all about rocks, it can be really frustrating to try to identify what is what later. So I'm really happy about this. <laughs> So that is what you get in a level three Nancy Larson curriculum. So as I said before, if you want to see more about how we use this curriculum, what types of experiments there are, how we do the actual questioning back and forth, etc., be sure to follow along on Instagram at Project Happy Home. I share much more of our day to day lessons there and just random finds, you know, funny things to show the kids, scientific things to show the kids like videos of deep sea creatures, etc. Um, and it's just a good place to connect with me particularly if you have a particular question about a curriculum or how I'm using it or why I switch from one thing to the other, I respond um, in much more real time there. So I would love to see you join me over on Instagram. Again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you found any value in this video, please be sure to hit the like button as well. As always, you guys, I know that your time is valuable. So thank you so much for spending some of it with me. I really do appreciate it. And I wish you guys the very best day. There are lots of uh, votes for building, building, under, building, understanding through scientific knowledge, building scientific understanding through <laughs> building. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how many times I'm going to restart this video, but apparently I'm going to restart it now.